Hello, Kismet. You gonna talk to me? In 1997, Professor Brooks and his team built Kismet, a small robot with eyes, ears, and a mouth, so it could see, hear, and experience the world around it. Look at my smile. Chief designer Cynthia Brazil observed that a baby learns by paying close attention to its parents. Hello, Kismet. You know, as, as parents, when we exaggerate the prosody of her voice, you know, going, oh, good baby, you know, or her facial expressions and her gestures are so exaggerated, um, a lot of that makes it much simpler for the infant to actually understand those signals. And so for Kismet, that made it much easier to perceive these cues and interpret these cues. Good job, Kismet. Very good, Kismet. The team emulated the way in which parents use vocal emphasis to teach their babies. I know you are. Go. <laughs> go? No, I'm not gonna go. Oh, yay. Yeah. <laughs> You're so silly. Through this unique approach, the team created a robot that is able to produce moment-to-moment -moment and seemingly natural human responses. This enables Kismet to appear to have social intelligence. Social intelligence was something that, you know, robotics people just didn't think a lot about, you know. We take it for granted. It's like we just interact with one another. We just understand in a conversation what you mean. It's obvious to me, you know. And what we're finding, of course, is it's also really hard to build a machine that can really understand people as people. No. Uh-uh. That's not appropriate. No. Perhaps it's not the robot understanding us, but it's us watching and understanding kismet. I've interacted with a sociable robot and I think their success is because of what we attribute to them rather than what they do themselves. And what we attribute to them is not a technological question, it's a sociological and anthropological one. All the scientists had done is allowed it to do a random s sequence of behaviours. However, it was it was me who attributed all those uh, thoughts and feelings and activities to it and all those intentions. And I think that's often the success of this technology, wow. is what we're actually putting into it. I'm not hey, much you. Oh, did he say he loves me? No, I love you too. No, Humans are just suckers for anything that looks human. We will anthropomorphize any sort of object that's out there. It can be a car, it can be whatever. We will start calling it by a name and we will look for faces uh, and wherever we can find them. And so I think robots just take advantage of that directly. And they don't even have to go very far in order to do that. It can just be a couple of eyes and a mouth and that's it.